Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are going to make this stylized animated tree you can see right here and I really hope you will enjoy this one and if you do please don't forget to leave a like, it will really help me and if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to learn in the most effective way, be sure to check out my courses. I carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills through low poly and stylized illustrations all the way to full character illustration and with the new one you even learn the full 3D textured environment. So if you're interested please check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into empty blender file and first of all let's delete everything we can see here. So let's drag the selection, press X and delete. And first of all, we'll need to create the tree. And for that, you need to go edit preferences, add-ons and search for extra objects, add-ons, add mesh extra objects, just check the box and close the preferences. And now if you press shift A, you will see all of these options right here, including the single vert and you can add single vert that will create an object with the single vertex inside and make sure you are in the vertex select mode right here and we can start extruding some trees. So let's press one on an ampad for a front view and let's just press E and extrude something like this. Now let's go to the side a little bit and we can create like a first branch here. Now let's select one of these points right here, press shift D and right click on the mouse to release it in place. There are two now overlapping and we can extrude this to the other side. We don't want them to connect it, that's why I'm duplicating them. So let's select this one here, press shift D, right click to release in place and extrude just like that. And now let's do it here. So shift D again, right click to release and then E and extrude a branch. And let's do the same here. Now this will be a little bit too flat this way. So we'll need to rotate um, some of these. Um, but for now, let's just duplicate one more here and let's go to the side here. Do the same thing right there. And now we can rotate this. So make sure you enable X-ray view so you can select all of these Press 7 on an ampad, press R to rotate and press G and move it to the side like this. So it's a little bit spread out, you know, and now we can just move some of these using G. And now let's shift D here, right click to release, and press E to extrude. So I think this will be enough for now. So let's step out and right click and we'll convert this to curve. And now in the curve settings, let's go find geometry and increase the depth just like this and now we'll adjust this individually so let's not make it so wide and we'll start at the bottom so tab in now you can see these are curve control points so let's select the bottom one let's enable proportional editing and press alt s to scale the radius and now with the mouse wheel you can increase the proportional fall off like this and make the bottom wider and now I want to make endpoints a little bit thinner so let's hold shift select the control points press alt s and let's start scaling down but let's reduce the fall off a little bit like this and now let's turn off proportional editing I want to move this a little bit lower but all in all this should be okay so this will be the basic tree for now and let's tap out and now we'll create the leaves. So let's press shift A and we'll add a plane. Press G then X and move it to the side. And now let's step into the edit mode. Press S then X and scale it down like this. And now let's press Ctrl R and increase the number of cuts with the mouse wheel like this. Right click to release. And let's select these control points using shift. Press S, scale them together. And let's do the same here, even more so. And now we can scale these two as well now let's define the shape a little bit better so let's look from the side by pressing 3 on an ampad and with the x-ray still active let's select these and place them down just like that and now select the whole thing and press g and move it so it starts at the origin point right here and now we can press ctrl r and create a loop cut right here in the middle right click to release in place press 2 for edge select or click here select the edge press ctrl b and create the bevel like this and increase the number of cuts with the mouse wheel so you get something like this here. Now you can press 1 or click here for vertex select. 
select the front vertex, press G twice and slide it just like this. And now we can select these two, press G then Z and move them down. So we get this leaf shape. Now let's press A to select all and Alt E and extrude along normals. So this will give the leaf a little bit of volume. And now we can press 3 for face select, select these two faces on top and press G then Z and move them up a little bit. So we get, you know, a little bit thickness variation there. And now we can tab out. Let's disable the X-ray view and press Ctrl 2 to add subdivision modifier. And this is the leaf, very stylized, that we are getting. And now we can look from the top and press Alt D, then R immediately. So you enable rotation and 120 on an unpad. And let's confirm with enter. And now before you do anything, press shift R to repeat the process. And let's select these two by holding shift with this one as last because that one doesn't have any rotation and press Ctrl J to just join them. So we now have this single mesh object and now we can scale it down a little bit. So, you know, we get some better proportions. Don't forget to press Ctrl A and apply the scale. And now let's press shift A and we'll add another plane. Let's press G then X, move it here and we can scale it down a little bit in the edit mode and now let's right click and subdivide and let's choose more subdivisions right here so something like this doesn't have to be too dense and now go for vertex select select the vertex in the middle enable proportional editing again press g then z and move this up and increase the fall off really large so this all goes up like this don't worry about it moving so we want to create a shape like this. Now we can disable the proportional editing, press A and press G then Z and move it back down. And this will basically serve us only as a template. So let's select the leaves and right here, set the snapping to face project and align rotation to target project individual elements. And now we can press G and by holding control, you can snap it on the surface. So now we are going to create, you know, like a stylized clump of leaves so let's press alt d and move some of these leaves around like this and we'll rotate them later individually so try to do as few overlaps as possible and you can help yourselves by pressing r twice to rotate them a little bit and try to create something like this you can also make them smaller here and there or move them up and down okay something like this and now we'll select all of those with the middle as last and press ctrl j again we'll join them into a single mesh object so now we are able to press alt d and duplicate the whole thing and just move it up or down here Okay, and one more right here and G then Z twice to move it on a local Z axis and now we can delete this template we don't need it anymore and now we can select them all um, select the bottom one as last and press Ctrl J again to join them and now we'll duplicate this over R3 so let's just look from the front by pressing 1 on an unpad and start moving these things around so i'll press alt d and duplicate it over these branches and then right here and here we'll need to move this to the side a little bit and here as well press r to rotate a little bit now you can really get creative so you cover you know these endpoints of branches and create you know visually interesting three like this and i think this will be fine for the demonstration so first of all let's select some of these leaves and let's press ctrl one to reduce um to reduce the subdivision level because this will get a little bit choppy for you and now let's handle that animation i want to move this up first let's handle that animation and we'll use this place modifier to make this move you know with the wind and uh, maybe here as well and now let's select the tree and we'll convert this back to mesh. So right click, convert to mesh. And right now tap into the edit mode and let's select one of the vertices um, right here. Doesn't matter which one. So it can be here, for example. 
um, one of these points at the top and now we can tab out select these leaves and hold shift and select the tree press ctrl p to parent but we'll choose the vertex and now if you select the tree and add modifier and we'll go for simple deform modifier you will see when we switch to bend and bend along the x-axis the tree is bending and the leaves are kind of moving um, with that vertex we parented them to. Um, it's not perfect because you can see if you go extreme this branch will get detached so it's not the perfect solution but we won't go into extremes anyway we just need to add a little bit of the wind sway so let's expand this a little bit and for example let's go something like 240 frames here and let's create the first keyframe for the bending so let's go zero here and press I over the angle to create a keyframe. And now hovering over the timeline, hit Ctrl Tab to switch to the graph editor. And right here on the side, if you don't see this panel, you can press N to show it. You have the modifiers tab. And with the simple deform keyframe, we can add noise modifier right here and switch the scale to something like 20 and reduce the strength to something really low like this. And now we'll restrict the frame range set 1 and 2 40 and for blending in and out we can use 20 frames here so that will make sure this is looping so now we have this wind sway and if you have a low fps you can go back to the timeline and in the playback settings you can enable frame dropping and it will make sure you can see this in real time and make sure to go into the output settings and switch to 30 fps so now you should get something like this maybe this is still too strong so let's go something like 0 0.05 and 25 or even 30 for the scale maybe 0.1 for the strength and i think this looks quite okay so now let's take care of the leaf animation we can disable the x-ray and now select one of the leaves and we'll start moving them using displacement. So now let's toggle the X-ray. Let's go back to the frame one and let's press Shift A and we'll add an empty right here in the middle. And we can change the empty style to something like, you know, circle or I don't know, sphere. Um, that will be fine. And then we'll need one more empty. So let's press Shift A and let's add another one. Press G then X and move it right here doesn't matter how far probably um, and we can leave this you know like uh, axis or you know something or if you want you can switch it here to I don't know arrows or something like that and now we'll parent this one to the sphere so Control P and parent to object so now if you move the sphere the empty will move as well and I want to create an animation for the sphere to rotate 360 degrees around so let's press n to enable side panel here and let's go and make sure you are on the frame one and on the rotation right click and insert single keyframe on the z rotation and now let's just scrub to 240 and set this to 360 and right click and insert single keyframe so that created this animation but now we want to make sure this is linear so press a in the timeline to select all keyframes and press T and choose linear interpolation. So now this will just go around and loop perfectly. So now let's select the leaves and let's go to the modifiers panel and let's add displacement modifier. And this will look really ugly for a second here. So let's create a new texture here. Let's click here to go to the texture settings. And instead of image texture, we'll use the predefined clouds texture. And we'll play with the size here, so something like this. And we'll need to reduce the strength in the modifier, so something like 0.15. But you can see um, the displacement is not working as we intended to, uh, because sometimes it makes this too thick or too thin. So we don't need normal direction, we need to switch this to Z. They'll keep the leaves intact. And for the coordinates, we don't want them to be local. We want object coordinates and we want to choose this rotating empty. So let's select the eyedropper and pick the empty right here. And now you can see when this will be moving, the displacement will be moving as well because we mapped 
the coordinates um, to the moving empty and since it's rotating it will be looping on frame 240 so it will be always returning to its original position and we have this nice you know wind wiggle right here and if you want to make this more pronounced you can go back to the texture settings and now play with the size so if you go a little bit smaller you will get more you know more shimmer down there and if you go larger you will get like a more wavy movement so something like one a little bit of shimmer is quite okay and now just select the rest of the leaves by holding shift select the first one and we can press ctrl l and copy modifiers so now we have a tree that's moving in the wind and you can always like specify different parameters here you can you know do like a stronger movement of the main tree and then you know play with the texture on the displacement so you get something interesting now i won't finish this scene with you because um by now you should be able to do it um, with the help of my other tutorials so go watch some of those if you want to know how to do a proper lighting or you know if you want the most streamlines experience check out those courses i mentioned in the beginning so that's it for the stylized 3 animation and i really hope you enjoyed this one and again if you did please leave that like and if you're new around here hit that subscribe thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day